Have you ever said anything to yourself like, I don't understand why I don't get this. I'm horrible at math. I'm embarrassed that I don't understand the basics of finance. It's okay if you have. Many of us have said that to ourselves. Finance is an area that we don't get a lot of education on. And so it's hard to be confident when it comes to your money because we don't really learn much about that. There's no classes in high school really talking about this. And honestly, the basics are kind of going out the window. I actually had to help one of my younger clients actually fill out a check. And this was not his fault. Nobody had taught him how to do that. And so when we get to money confidence, we oftentimes will beat ourselves up because we don't understand certain elements of finance that we assume are basic. But I can tell you that there's a lot of people out there that don't understand basic finance. Now, I'm not just talking about spend less than you make and things like that, but the difference between a traditional IRA and a Roth IRA, a lot of times people ask me that question and be very embarrassed when they're asking about that. Like, I know I should know this, but can you explain what a Roth IRA is again? Why should you know this? This isn't your area of expertise. It's confusing. And don't beat yourself up about it. Money confidence is one of those areas that a lot of us are lacking in, but we can build up very quickly by doing little baby steps to just subtly educate ourselves on, because the more we understand it, the better our money confidence is going to be. So if I haven't mentioned this before, we have a great resource. You can um, either reach out to me and I will be happy to send it to you or go to our website and the resources page. So our website is onevisionretire.com, all spelled out, O-N-E-V-I-S-I-O-N, retire.com slash resources. And you can download it there as well. It's called baby step your way to financial independence. And I'm going to give you two of the things that are on there that can actually help you build up some money, confidence and education. One of them is to read a financial article a week. Now that sounds really simple, but when is the last time you actually read a financial article? Probably been a while, right? Because we assume that we're not going to understand it or that it's going to be boring. But if you go on to some of the some of the finance sites, maybe Yahoo Finance on the personal finance pages, or just look up personal finance articles, they're written for you, the consumer. So a lot of them are actually pretty easy to understand. Now, if you don't understand it, don't fret. You can always reach out to us and I'm happy to walk you through what the article is talking about. But the more you actually read a little bit about finance, the more you're going to understand. So that's one thing. So if you can read a financial article once a week, even once a month is better than never, right? But once a week would be good. Um, then that's one thing. Then I challenge you as a second thing to maybe bring it up in conversation with a friend. I know we're so busy talking about all the other things in life, but personal finance is actually an area that if we talked about it with other people, we would realize that other people are also having these same questions that are also having these same money confidence issues that also feel like they're not in the best place where it comes to their finances, no matter where they sit, whether they make a lot more money than you do and they seem like everything's going well, they might have some insecurities as well that you can actually open up that relationship a little bit more and learn together. So those are two things that you can do to actually help yourself build some money confidence. And that uh, PDF that you would download actually talks more. There's 15 baby steps you can do to start building up to financial freedom or financial independence. And that comes when you really are a little bit more confident about your money. Now, if you don't want to do any of that, which some people don't, I think you should. And I actually tell my clients to do this as well. You can always reach out to us because we're that source for our clients. There's never a dumb question that a client asks. It's always about getting them more clarity, giving them their choices and educating them so they can make the educated choice that works best for them and what they feel comfortable with. One vision retirement is about the client's vision, not our vision. So give us a call if we can help. Go to our website and download that resource if that works for you. And we're happy to help you build your money confidence. One Vision Retirement, 
your retirement in 2020 vision.